Live from the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose, California, it's The Cube at Big Data SV 2015. everybody, this is The Cube. We're live at Big Data SV in San Jose, California. I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. Uh, I'm joined by our good friend John Kreisa of Hortonworks, Jeff, VP of Strategic, Strategic Marketing, uh, and a first-time Cube guest, Shamoon Mirza, who's the CTO in charge of Big Data at BMC Software. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, Shamoon, let's start with you. I think this is the first time BMC's joined us on The Cube. Why don't That's you great. talk a little bit about the company, introduce yourself to The Cube audience, um, and let's, let's say a little bit more about that, and then we'll get into the relationship with Hortonworks. Sure, so BMC Software has a, a wide portfolio of products, but really what we are is focused on IT operations management. Mm -hmm. So when we look at the industry and, and we, we see how this digital change, this digital revolution you almost is taking place across our customers, uh, we really see our role as helping them make that transition as quickly, safely, and in, in the best way possible. So that's really, uh, in that spirit, we've, we've been working on the big data space mm -hmm. and seeing how we can enable our enterprise customers to adopt this technology quickly, safely, and uh, in the most efficient mm -hmm. possible manner. Mm -hmm. And what are you hearing from customers in terms of their, their thinking around big data? Um, you know, we, we cover the market pretty closely and we see a lot of the large enterprises adopting Hadoop. Sure. Um, but we, it, we, it hasn't really kind of hit the mainstream market yet. I think it's moving in that direction. What are you seeing? What, what we see is there's tremendous excitement and, and this w a will mm -hmm. to do big data. The, everybody knows they have a feeling that this is something that would help them, it will get their business to do better. But because it's, it's somewhat of a new uh, technology, they're, they're certainly seeing certain challenges in being able to build their talent, being able to build the infrastructure, and be able to really ingest and really get value out of it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's why, you know, when we look at Hortonworks and, and those kinds of solutions, we see a tremendous opportunity in working with them and enabling our customers to adopt those technologies mm -hmm. and make use of them and really get value out of them sooner and faster than, mm -hmm. uh, than otherwise. Uh, and John, from Hortonworks' perspective, mm -hmm. what, uh, what's the, uh, where does the value come in between the relationship of Hortonworks and, and BMC for your yeah. joint customers? Sure, and I think there's a, you know, it's been a, a great partnership so far, and uh, the, 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 the products that are offered by BMC help our customers with their operational uh, you know, aspects of running Hadoop. Certainly one of the areas where um, you know, there are open source components, obviously Ambari is the, the main piece, and that's the piece that is integrated with, uh, with BMC um, to help reuse the skills that they have, right? There's existing skills within the technology, helps reach a broader part of the market um, and help drive the overall adoption of the technology. So it's been you know, a great partnership mm -hmm. so far and you know, one that we continue to want to yeah. work and deepen. Yeah, so you Absolutely. mentioned Ambari, so maybe talk a little more detail about uh, the kind of the, the technical aspects of the partnership, sure. as we talked about engineering is you know, the key foundation for all of Hortonworks partnerships yep. out there, and it's really important in the big data space. What sure. are some of the, the, let's go a little bit deep on the tech, where are you guys in Sure. Sure, uh, so the way I would, I would categorize, kind of, because really I think in terms of use cases, mm -hmm. because that's what customers think of. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we do is we increase the time to value by making it easier to actually access and get value out of, uh, out of Hadoop, and, and the way we do that is typically, if you were going to use MapReduce or, or any one of these other methods to actually get the data, you end up, developers end up having to write some scripts, some, some of their own kind of uh, structure around it to do things like exception handling if something happens outside of Hadoop, right? And, and when they write that, that's kind of overhead that doesn't really add value to the business, it's really just infrastructure. So what we do is we enable you to really focus on the business logic and getting value out of Hadoop and being able to say, listen, I want to analyze the data mm -hmm. this way or that. And all of the infrastructure around that, we just take care of. If for some reason the job is, is running longer than they expected, or maybe they have multiple jobs running which have different priorities, uh, we will actually make the judgment for them, make sure they hit their SLAs, and if need be, actually say, listen, this, anal this you know, analyst is just trying a theory mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. he can wait, let's mm -hmm. get this production mm -hmm. job go first, mm -hmm. and then we'll run this <coughs> after. So that's one of the things, um, that one of the angles that we do, which is really in the end, just shrinking the time to value 
uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to getting value out of Hadoop. Yeah, well, and of course, that's you know one of the things we hear over and over from from enterprise practitioners is you know how do we shorten that time to insight, that time to value? Right. Um, and the reality is, you've got to move fast in this market. You can't. You, the idea of waiting for um, you know, query results and your analysis to come in for even hours in some cases is too long. Right. So uh, it's critical that you kind of optimize the environment so that you're answering questions in, in, a, in a timely fashion. It doesn't always have to be real time, mm -hmm. but sure, it's, what's, exactly. it's what's necessary based on the use case, right? Well, I think yeah. the prioritization is what's, yeah. what's important there, right? Mm -hmm. That, that, that it, the system knows which jobs need to take priority over others and make sure that they get the appropriate resources. And I think that's, you know, that, that kind of operational aspect of making Hadoop more practical and functional mm -hmm. is, a, is a key you know, value add mm -hmm. that, that BMC is providing here. So let's talk a little bit more about kind of your, you know, your joint customers. You know, can you share some more examples of some of the things you're doing, um, some of your customers are doing and where they're driving value? Um, sure, I mean, we, we, when we look at kind of the Hadoop, so we, we have a number of really interesting uh, uh, case studies. The one that I, I, is one of my favorites is when I look at Carfax. So Carfax mm -hmm. is uh, really in the end a data company. Right, mm -hmm. uh, they have over 34,000 data sources that they get data from on a daily basis. Uh, all of that has to be collected, has to end up into Hadoop. Uh, then they run their analytics, and they're very serious about their that part of their. That is their core business. They, in fact, the the analytic patterns that they use are patented specifically for them. So, what our product, Control M, uh, BMC product that uh, integrates with Hadoop, what it gets you is it helps you kind of orchestrate all these, this, this, this flow of data into Hadoop and then getting it out of it. So really what we, look, when we look at Hadoop, we want, to, we want it to be a full you know, card-bearing citizen of the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Like it shouldn't be treated as, oh, this is a new thing or it's an island. No, really, the more it's integrated, the more it acts as that data hub, the more value it's actually going to drive to mm -hmm. the customer. So when we look um, at that kind of a problem for Carfax, that's where we say, okay, that's the role we want to play. We want to be able to make sure that the data gets all the way into Hadoop so that you can maximize the value you get out of that. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, the idea of creating yet another data silo um, is kind of, not only does it defeat the purpose, I mean, it, 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 that was the purpose of, <laughs> of Hadoop in some sense, mm -hmm. is to break right. down those yeah. silos. And the whole concept of that data lake, uh, if you've got multiple data lakes that are not connected, then you've just, you've got the same problem now at a larger yeah. scale, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so talk a little bit about uh, BMC in terms of the ecosystem and getting involved in the big data space. Um, you know, how, is that, uh, how has that been uh, for you guys in terms of, there's a lot of players out there obviously partnering with Hortonworks, sure. but if you go out to the show floor at Hadoop, Hadoop World, lots of different vendors out there. How, how has BMC kind of started uh, this journey in terms of getting really involved in, in, in the big data space? Obviously, sure. Hortonworks partnership, what else are you guys doing to, to kind of make your move in this space? Absolutely, so it, it's, it's certainly, we have been around for a long mm -hmm. time. So in, in some cases, we found when we, we surveyed our customers and we talked to them, we found that a number of them had already been using our products for big data without us even knowing it because they would just write the scripts. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know how to run, we know how to run scripts. <laughs> um, and that's kind of where we were like, no, no, no. We've got a much better way for you to do that. So, so a lot of the traction, I would say, one is just through our traditional mm -hmm. customers. Um, but when you look at big data, it is a different kind of market. A lot of the projects actually do come out of not IT, but uh, in one case, uh, one of our customers, they really they report up into the CMO, mm -hmm. uh, who actually is driving the big data project. So we, we're seeing a lot of those kind of markets happen. Um, and that's where our partnership with Hortonworks really comes in, because what, what we really want to do is access those, those customers and be able to provide them the same kind of value that they might not even be thinking about. We, just earlier, I was having a conversation with, um, with, with an analyst, and we were saying it's really a matter of, when we look at our customers, there are two types. There are ones who anticipate the pain they will have if they don't figure out these kind of more infrastructure things around their Hadoop project. Mm -hmm. And then there are the other ones who wait for the pain to happen, <laughs> and then they go around saying, whoa, this is, I, I don't want to deal with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's got to be an answer Deserves. somewhere. <laughs> right, and yeah. then they go out looking for us. So, mm -hmm. so that's really what we're seeing in the market. So is the idea you want, you want, you want more of your customers to start thinking about it ahead of time so they're, they're, they're ready to deal with it, or, or you're, you're happy to help in either, either scenario? No, it, it, we, we want them to anticipate yeah. that, and part of that is educating the customer. Mm -hmm and making them more comfortable with the whole prospect mm -hmm. of big data. 
big data in, in, in my sense, and we run into a lot of customers, and we know, for example, that one of the biggest issues or one of the biggest challenges in going into production with a big data project based on a number of surveys is the how do you prove your ROI, mm -hmm. right? Because they say, okay, I have this data, but I'm not sure how do I do this. Oh, I've got to go production. Wait a minute. How do I deal with compliance and security? And then the operations people get involved and they say, well, you did this on your own. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this now. You figure it out. So there's a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. So one of the roles that we, have, we are playing and we're trying our best to get the message out to the customers and working with partners like Hortonworks to, to, to get the message out about this is the right way, this is the best practice mm -hmm. of how you deploy this. Then you're proving the ROI becomes a lot easier because you focus on your actual, like the, the part that actually drives value. Looking at the data and figuring out how do I apply this to either my existing business model or maybe I can create new business models and new products mm -hmm. because of the insights I just mm -hmm. got from the big data. But then not have to worry about the infrastructure and the operational aspect of it. Mm. So a lot of that has to do with education. Like I said, there is, it's, a f it's, it's kind of a new area. There's not that much talent out there. There's a shortage of talent. Um, and I think the key thing for vendors like us is to really provide our customers with the tools and the knowledge to be able to do it with you know, absolute confidence. Running it is not a problem. You know, the investments I make aren't gonna go towards figuring out how to run this, but mm -hmm. more into figuring out how to get value out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about in the end, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. Is getting yeah, yeah. value out of your data. Well, I think you know, the, 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 you know, the partnership and the integration of the tools and everything is, is you know, critical sort of right at this time in terms of Hadoop adoption. Like if you think in terms of it, you're know, really starting to get more into the mainstream, it's really right. important that there are tools integrated with it that help it move from that kind of POC to production phase. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's lots of tire kicking that's gone on with Hadoop and more organizations are really looking at and asking the questions, how do I get it into production? Right. And this is the kind of integration, the kind of tooling mm -hmm. that really helps them do that. So mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's, an, it's an important, important component to have and be available and for the market to hear about right now as, as more customers are saying, okay, let's get this thing out there and get more value out of it and help it drive new business opportunities, right. like you said, exactly. through new analytics mm -hmm. and things they're using it for. And, and Shabun mentioned kind of developing best practices. Mm -hmm. um, what, from your perspective, um, how do you, I mean, you've got a, a broad portfolio of partners. Mm -hmm. How do you approach that, helping kind of develop best practices around not just the technology itself, but how to use the technology to mm -hmm. help enable more adoption? B bunch of different ways, both, you know, of course, through our own experience in helping customers uh, implement it, but as well with our partners when we jointly implement it, you know, making sure that we take and use, get that knowledge back out into the market. There's a bunch of different ways that we can do it. Some are, you know, driven by marketing, some are driven through training, some are driven mm -hmm. through yeah. other forms of education, but really making sure that we try to programmatize the capture of that information and get it back out because the more that they're learning about what we're doing and the success we're doing together and what those best practices are, the more that others can learn from it and drive you know, a greater usage and, mm -hmm. and greater success. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, looking ahead, so next year we're, we're back here at this table. What, what's, on the, what's on the roadmap? What will we be talking about? What do you think uh, will be kind of top of mind for, for you guys in the big data world and what are some of the things in your roadmap that you can share at this point? Sure, so when, when, when I look at big data, the one thing that is really amazing about it is the speed at which uh, innovation is taking place. So one of the things that we're doing is that when we look at our traditional world that BMC has dealt with, things didn't change really that often. Like even if you look at traditional databases, mm -hmm. you know, Oracle would come out with a major release every few years, and that would be kind of a place where something new would come out. Um, but now we're looking at like almost every quarter there's new things coming out. So what we're doing is we've accelerated our innovation and our release cycles to make sure that as uh, the new projects come out, as new versions come out, new features come out, we will keep on kind of keep up to pace with them. But the challenge I think is that, to be honest, if I told you exactly what's going to happen a year from now, I would just be wrong. <laughs> uh, so really what I would say is, it's, it's like a mobile app, right? Uh, it's not just a matter of supporting new platforms, but also constantly learning how people are using it and actually providing new use cases, providing new functionality mm -hmm. that works best for them. Um, and that's really what our focus has been. We've been working very closely with, with partners as well as customers, and uh, we will continue doing that. So uh, what will it be a year from now? I think it will be a, a lot more awesome than it is now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you make a really good point. The innovation is coming so fast, yeah. it's so yeah. furious. Um, and, but p part of the job of you know, vendors such as yourselves is to make that consumable for the enterprise, which isn't always ready to uh, adopt the innovation at, at the speed that it's coming out. 
Um, and depending on the organization you're talking about, and when we're specifically talking about enterprise adoption, they tend to be, depending on the, the industry and the type of company, you know, a little more risk averse. So you've mm -hmm. got to balance those things. You mentioned kind of speeding up uh, the cycles with inside of BMC, and right. you've got to do that, but you've also got to balance the, um, you know, the, the, the needs and the, and the consumption patterns of your customers. Right. And the w only thing I would add is one key thing is, you know, it, actually they were, they were mentioning in the keynote as well, I do believe like flexibility is a big thing, mm -hmm. agility, and not in terms of agile development, but like the English word, agility. Mm -hmm. uh, that is true not only for, for technology, but it's actually a fact for the businesses. And for the businesses to be agile, they need their technology and their systems to be agile along with them. Mm -hmm. So in, in that area, one of the things we are looking at is making our product more flexible and allowing our customers the ability to write their own kind of content and manage more of their own stuff within the same ecosystem. So be able to say, you know, I have, okay, I have Hadoop I'm running with, and I got FTP this file over first, mm -hmm. and then do this ETL, but I have this custom app that I also use, and I gotta get some data out of that. Mm -hmm. And we're basically looking at uh, enabling our customers to actually just write their own logic and plug it in as another module equivalent to Hadoop or mm -hmm. Oracle or anything else. Mm -hmm. All right, well, very good. Well, guys, uh, thanks so much for joining us on theCUBE again thanks. today. We appreciate uh, thank it. Thank you so much. Uh, great to have BMC on and become a, you know, you're now a CUBE alum, so yeah. thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah. uh, He'll be back. Do yep. I get a badge? It's actually a tattoo that you get. <laughs> so thanks again, guys, appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stick around, we'll be right back here live at Big Data SV uh, with our next segment right after this.